Well, hello everybody, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, I'm very sorry about this, you know, this, this is... I've just had such a busy week after being ill last weekend that I, I wasn't able to do this episode. And then I've just been so busy that uh, I just haven't got around to doing it. Uh, so I do apologise. So here is episode number three. 83, sorry, not episode number three. Episode 83, I'm not even sure, I think it's episode seven of Fair Season 4 Part 2. I don't even remember. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I can't really remember what happened. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, but I'm excited. So let's just get straight to it, guys. Um, uh, I'll see you in the video. But of course, if you want to watch the rest of these with me, then you know, hit that subscribe and I'll see you in the, the, the video, guys. Alright. So um, I'm actually watching this on Crunchyroll. Normally we do it other versions. Um, but we're watching it on Crunchyroll because it's better and there's no chance of mistranslations, I suppose. Um, now, so this is the first time I'm actually seeing this uh, warning here and I just love how it says this content is entirely fictional as if anyone would believe that this was real. You know, it's just baffling. Anyway, let's go. I've been waiting all week to do this. Who are you? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter then who you are, does it? Because you're dead. <laughs> is that Lee? Is that Hanji? Oh, sh fucking hell. Making sure that he's dead. That would make sense, but... It is... I'm still struggling with the fact that he's still alive after being blown to pieces by a thunder spear. It's, you know, struggling to wrap my head around that. So this is the image we saw at the end of the last episode. Well, Pixis is dead. Obviously, you don't know that. Although, I guess this is running concurrently. I don't think you would end up in a cell. I think they'd kill you, Andy. Sorry. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So it's running concurrently, yeah. Only half a day? What? That's ludicrous. Hang on, wh wh where did she get the wheels from? <laughs> Building a cart with any with, with, with some somewhere with some wheels. I think. Megath's a, a reasonable man. I think, you know, he, he sees the situation. Who'd have thought it all that time ago? Well, it's not even that long ago, is it? Hey? <laughs> that these guys would be joining forces. That's crazy, man. I mean, it's, it's also crazy to think, like... I don't... I just don't think it is that crazy now you think about it. Because the whole of season two, like the 12 episodes, are spread over, what, like two days? And all of this is, what, spread over a matter of hours? So much going on. Pride. Oh, it's, that was just drummed on there, like gotta be a reference to everybody swallowing their pride to fight alongside each other why is John in a cell why are they there having a crisis of faith are you oh dear oh dear How does he know about that? Yeah. Oh dear. So does that mean he knows everything? I don't, can't he just looks so old, doesn't he? I just remember when he was like young baby face. Oh, 
Uh oh, Falco knows. He's he's up to he knows he's up to something. And I'm gonna get there quick enough though. Of course he is. Can't kill Falco, he's just got his powers. That is not what I expected. Oh no, he's gonna get him to climb up and then push him off. Come on, Falco's not that stupid, is he? Oh no, is he gonna turn and kill Connie? Nah, that, that would be that, that won't happen. What are you doing, Armin? He's gonna kill he's gonna kill his mom, isn't he? He's gonna kill his mom. Oh no. Connie will never forgive him for that. Oh no, Connie. Connie will never forgive him. He'll probably want to kill him. It's a bit late for self reflection, I think. Ah, so that's where the title that's where the title of Pride comes from. Mm. I mean I'm ha I'm happy that Connie's turned around. But I mean can he be trusted again? That's the thing. Oh. That's not good. I mean, I know I've got a terrible memory, but I really am struggling to picture who that is. Who is that? I mean... I'm going to sound like an idiot, and I... But that, that, I mean, that's obviously got to be important. Talking about throwing the scarf away. That's got to be important. Those are some pretty big beds. Wow, Mikasa's gone cold. I bloody hope so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They've been they've been walking off for the last four episodes. Mm, flock. That's Jean at his side. Yeah. I notice that they're all young. There's no oldies amongst them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not convinced. I mean, John's a practical man. He knows which way the wind is burning. I mean, this, this pies look pretty nice, I won't lie. <laughs> so she's eating right next to him and no one realizes. Oh, poor Hitch. I mean, she's so lonely. And she, she finds someone, you know, to be friends with and to... 
to be together with and and abandon her that's oh, i mean you got to feel sorry for her oh ominous music that's not good <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Wow, they really, really want blood. What? What is the, what is the, what's the point then? Oh, I think I think one bullet's enough, mate. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I mean, you only have to do it once. Is he gonna? Sh <laughs> I missed. I Is he gonna? Sh Is he gonna shoot him? Whoa! No way! No. Nah, he didn't get eaten. He didn't get eaten. I think that that's a specific plan. Uh oh, where is Mikasa indeed? What, what, who is the food and the supplies for though? And who is that? Who's who's left to watch them? Who could that possibly be? Erin? No. Who's left to watch them? I don't think of anyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those ashy bones. Those ashy bones. Who's that, who's that referring to? Who was burnt? Who was burned? What, so they could kill them themselves? I mean, there's just so much. So much is happening. Oh, to save the world. Oh, that's a great way to end an episode. I'm not going to lie. That is, that is a beautiful way to end the episode right there. Where are we going? To save the world. Oh. I mean... In this season, everybody's changing size left, right, and center. I'm really struggling to follow it. I really am. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I get. I'm speechless because I really. I, I don't. I just. I don't know what to make of it because it's. It's starting to get a little bit confusing. Um, but we'll try and break it down. So, obviously, um, at the start, Angie was talking to Levi and explaining how they're going to be on the run for their entire lives, which is, you know, probably going to happen. And then they had the quick moment with Eren where he explained everything. And then they decided to team up. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. <sighs> because, whilst I... Uh, I think they do, they're just doing it because they just want to see, they both want to see the end of Zeke. You know, Levi doesn't care about the rumbling, I don't think. He just wants Zeke. Um, and I think that's what McGaff wants as well. Um, I do think that Piek is more pragmatic and realizes that Zeke isn't the end game. 
And I think that was the condition of why they wanted to get Yelena. Um, because she can lead them to Zeke. And then Zeke will lead them to to, to Levi. Not to Levi, to Aaron. That's my theory. Because um, I, don't, I don't think they want Yelena to shoot her. And then because they want her because she will lead them to Zeke. Um, she would know where Zeke would go. She would know all of those different things. You know, she knows him inside out. Um, they probably want the black guy. I don't know his name. They probably want him as like collateral to make sure she she does as she's told. Now, obviously, and, and I, I really do feel sorry for Hitch. I know I said it, but it just seems every time she gets a friend, they abandon her. You know, and, and I think this one really hurt her because it seemed like she was really bonding with Annie. But then, you know, Annie, she went through hell with, um, with, you know, Armin and Mikasa. Um, you know, because they, it was at the Battle of Trost way back in the first few episodes and they went through hell. And so I think that's why she sided with them. And then Hitch is just, you know, she's left in the middle. And we saw that when she goes, oh, I can't eat this on my own. And, you know, you've got to feel sorry for her. Uh, and then finally, we just go, I, I honestly thought that, that John was going to shoot Flock. I really did. Um, but no, I know. Um, but we got to, I mean, we got to address who is that, that guy that's in the shadows the the Annie and and everyone was looking back at as they were leaving I, I really I can't think who that is I mean the first thought would be Aaron but I don't think he'd be anywhere near the town um so I just I'm really struggling to think who it could be um but yeah really really enjoyable episode lots of stuff happening Lots of betrayal, lots of changing sides, and um, I think we're going to have a lot more of that to come in the, the remaining few episodes, so um, I really enjoyed this, I hope you have too guys, um, thanks very much for watching, if you have enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe, come, come watch the rest of us, watch the rest of them with us, and um, I'll see you again next time guys, goodbye.